Hello everybody, today I'm going to be playing Blue's Clues on New World Cooking. I'm in the Noggin app and I can't wait to play Blue's Clues World Cooking and it says download failed. We're working on it, please choose another download. So let's just play World Cooking. Blue's Clues and you. World Cooking. Oh yeah. Tap play let's just play. To start. play. Hello, hello. That's Are Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper. Cooking? I am Mr. Salt. And I am Mrs. Pepper. And today we are doing some delicious world cooking for Blue. Wow. And you. That sounds cool. We are making tasty treats from all over the world. Will you help us make something extra special for Blue? Oh, yeah. I'm ready you for it. Kitchen helper. Okay, I'm going Which to be the kitchen helper. Food should we make for Blue? Pick a yummy world food for us to make for Blue and you. Okay, these are the food from around the world. So let's start with apple pie. Apple pie. Apple pie is a very popular and delicious dessert in the USA, home of the Statue of Liberty. Tap the green arrow to help us cook this dish for Blue and you. Tap the home button to go back and pick something else to cook. Okay, the apple pie is in the United States. Or United States of America. We live in the United States, so yeah, let's play. Apple pie is a tasty pastry filled with fresh apples. Often cooked in a delicious mixture of butter and spices. Okay, let's make it. First, let's drag some butter to the saucepan. Let's add the butter to the saucepan. The butter is starting to melt. Mm -hmm. Use this spoon to stir the butter. Let's stir it until it's melted. Well done, kitchen helper. The butter is perfectly melted. Mm-hmm. Now we add water. Let's add to some the water. Saucepan. Ah, now let's add some spices and a dash of brown sugar. Spices Sprinkle and them spices into the and brown sugar coming up. Nicely done, kitchen helper. Thank you. Now use let's this spoon let's to stir, it stir it all together. together. Ah, this mix will be perfect for our pie. It must be the we'll filling of the right pie. Here for later, huh? Okay. This must be the pie crust. Now let's make a very important part of the pie. The crust? Mm -hmm. Will you help tap all around the dough? Let's tap to this. To flatten it into the pie dish? Aha, très bon! Yeah, there très bon. Just a few more presses and we'll have the perfect crust. Mm -hmm. Now let's add now some apple slices. Add delicious apple slices. Spread out the apples. Evenly this must be a delicious crust. pie ever. Okay, almost done. Just a few apples left. Now let's add Super. the filling. Now we can add the filling mixture we made before. Mm hmm. Now let's make the lattice now pie it's crust. Now time to add a beautiful lattice crust on top. A lattice is a pattern that is used often to decorate the top of a pie. Oh, really? It makes the pie look almost as good as it tastes. Trace the dotted line Let's to trace slice it. the dough. Très bon. Keep slicing. Ah, beautiful. We keep slicing now, and now drag the let's drag the dough them. to the pie to create the lattice pattern. Blue is going to love this delicious looking apple now pie. Now let's bake it. Now let's bake this apple pie and now in no time. We are ready to bake. Mrs. Pepper and I preheated the oven. Watch out! The oven can be very hot. Yep, so it a is. Grown up should always do this part. I'm not a grown up. My mom's a grown up. Here you Here's go, your blue. famous apple your pie from the USA. Is apple pie from the USA. Yep. Oh. In the USA, people love to eat apple pie. Especially on Thanksgiving. I'd rather eat pumpkin pie and pecan pie. Blue loves it. Blue loves Blue it. Wow. You, kitchen helper. All right. Thank you. Let's make the Blue next food. Let's food play so again. Pick a yummy okay. World food the next for food we're making is biryani. Biryani. 
Biryani is a delicious dish from India. Oh, really? Home of the magnificent Taj Mahal. Do you know Indians wear sari, like the national costumes? And they have national animals. And they actually have food like chicken curry, so let's play. It's a rice jit. It's Biryani a rice. Is a it's a type of rice dish. dish. It is made with spices, mm -hmm. rice, and meat or vegetables. Oh, really? Okay, let's cook. Can you help us add water, water spices, spices, and rice, and into rice. the pan? Now, now let's stir it together. To stir it. Well done, kitchen helper. Now, now use the strainer to now strain Now let's use a strainer or a cup to give it a little colander. That's perfect. Looking we'll leave nice. This right here and add it to our biryani later. Okay. That might do the trick. Now let's Next, add some spices let's and some, some sliced onions. For our biryani. Let's start with some fresh onions and spices. Mm -hmm. Now biryani let's add some yogurt. yogurt in it. Delicious. Mm, smells delicious. It does. Now let's add Next, carrots, let's potatoes, carrots, and peas. Potatoes and peas, kitchen helper. Ah, so colorful and spicy. Mm -hmm. We're now let's add the add rice. The rice mix we made before. Now, now let's stir it. Spoon to stir it all together. Now let's ah, close the lid. Fantastic already. Now, will you add the lid to the pot to let it steam? Mm -hmm. I think it's ready. Yep. And voila! The you biryani from you. India. The world food today India is, is in Southeast Asia, India. right? Biryani can be eaten for lunch or dinner. I can see that. I never Wait, tried biryani before, but I tried curry chicken Thank and you. non bread. Let's do something else. Pick a yummy we'll choose food this food one because it's one of my favorite. Like this one. Bibimbap. This is the bibimbap. Bibimbap is a scrumptious food from South Korea in Asia, home to a royal palace called Yongbokgu. <laughs> Sounds pretty <laughs> royal to me. My family lives in South Korea. Bibimbap is a rice dish with lots it's of It's also a type of rice dish. Like sprouts, meat, and egg. Okay, let's make this. Let's add some meat first. First, let's drag meat to the frying pan. Ah, Sauce now, and spices. Let's add sauce and spices. Mmm, smells delicious. Mm -hmm. Now, let's use stir the them spoon together. To stir it all together. Well done, kitchen helper. Now let's use an egg. Now, let's fry an egg. Let's fry oh, an egg. Perfect. We'll add these to our bibimbap later. Okay. Now Mr. let's add some vegetables. And I cooked some rice and added it to the The bowl rice is cooked you. already. Let's Next, add some meat. Let's drag the meat spinach, we cooked. Sprouts, sprouts carrots, carrots, and mushrooms, mushrooms and spinach. All around this the bowl. This must be a good combination. Drag each ingredient to the bowl. Magnifique! Thank you, kitchen helper. Now let's add the fried egg. Now let's drag the fried egg right into the middle. Oh of my the bowl. gosh! This game it is making me hungry. Decoration. <laughs> yep. And voila! Yeah, the bibimbap is from Your South Korea. Today is bibimbap from South Korea. Uh huh. The best way to eat bibimbap is to mix all the ingredients together before you eat it. Oh really? I'd love to try it. Blue loves it. We couldn't have done it without you, okay, kitchen helper. Okay, let's do something else. Thank you, Blue. Lo Pick a yummy Which one should I choose? For Which one? We Blue should try this, you. like this one, the dumplings. Xiao Long Bao. Xiao Long Bao. Xiao Long Bao is the name for soup dumplings in China. Ooh, China oh, is also in Asia. China. <gasps> wow, that really is a great wall. It certainly is. It's an ancient China, like the Chinese dragons. Oh my gosh. Let's try some Chinese dumplings. Soup dumplings are a yummy, chewy pastry mm -hmm. with meat and hot soup inside. Mm -hmm. 
That sounds cool. Let's cook them. First, let's make the filling. Yep. Okay, we add some spices, pork, and soup cubes. Soup cubes. Now, let's use stir them the together. To stir it all together. Ah, this mix will be delicious in our dumplings. Mm -hmm. We'll leave it right here for later. That sounds good. Now let's, let's use, use a rolling pin. pin to flatten this dough so it's perfectly round. That sounds cool. Magnifique. Now let's now it's add... time to pour the filling we made into the dough. Mm -hmm. Now will this you is a filling and a dough. And pinch all around the dough let's to pinch. seal the dumpling shut. Swipe all around the dough to I seal swiped the on this tablet. Shot. Now let's put mm, the three dumplings, dumplings in this dumpling Mrs. Pepper basket. And I made some too. Oh Place really? In the steamer with the dumplings we made. Okay. Mrs. Pepper and I will let's, turn on the steam to cook the dumplings. Let's cook the, the dumplings. Can be really hot. Always get a grown-up's help when putting things into the steamer. Okay. Okay. Let's steam now, those beautiful let's dumplings. Let's try more steamers full of delicious dumplings to the stack. It's like the tower. Let's take a look. Ah, beautifully steamed dumplings. Yep, beautiful steamed dumplings. Here you Here are, you go, Xiao Long Bao Your dumplings from China. Is Xiao Long Bao from China? Be careful. These Soup are really too are hot. Make sure you hot. blow them before you, sure eat them. Blow on them before you eat them. Right. Delicious. Blue loves them. We couldn't have done it without you, kitchen helper. Thank you. Magnifique. Now let's... Blue love. What's next? Pick a hmm. yummy world What about food Italy? With the Tower of Pisa, which is gnocchi pasta. Gnocchi? Gnocchi are a tasty type of pasta from Italy. Home of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Have you go to Venice, Italy? Okay. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. My Taps a green ama, to help us cook this dish my for ama you and is, you. Taps a home my ama to go went back to and pick something else to cook. Washing her face. Do you know Venice is in Italy? Yup. They have some great pasta and pizza, so yeah. Let's keep playing anyway. Gnocchi are very tasty I tried gnocchi at Giovanni's table potato. at the Royal Caribbean cruise. Let's cook them. Alrighty. The first step in making gnocchi is to mash some potatoes. Ooh, mashing potatoes is fun. To mash these potatoes. Let's mash them. Ma mash, 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 mash. Keep it that sounds great. Voila. Voila. Can you help Let's us add mix flour, flour spices, spices, and an egg? Eggs in with the potato. This must be good now ingredients. Use this spoon to stir yep. it all together. Let's stir this all together. Ah, uh, looks scrumptious. Yep, looks really scrumptious. Will you help knead Let's the knead dough? Let's knead the dough. Keep kneading the dough. We already need the dough. Now it's time for us to swipe the dough from top to bottom and roll it roll into it. a long thin piece. Roll like a string. Now let's slice the dough into tiny pieces. Trace let's the cut them line into to small pieces. Wow, that was quick. This is a now, gnocchi board. Drag each piece of dough to the gnocchi. Now drag the gnocchi. Magnifique. Keep going. Yep, let's keep on going. Good work, kitchen helper. Mm -hmm. Great job! Now, Mr. Salt and I will turn on the heat to boil the gnocchi. Yep. Ah, Let's boil such this gnocchi. gnocchi. Now, pour them into the pot. Mm -hmm. Which sauce now, shall I choose? The final step is to add a delicious sauce. Ooh, sauces! Which that sounds cool. Which one should we use, cool. kitchen helper? Pesto, pomodoro, or bolognese? Choose the sauce you want okay. and pour it onto the gnocchi. Okay, so, so which which form of the sauce shall I use? I'll choose this one. Pomodoro is made from red tomatoes. This sounds delicious. Here you go, Blue. I like all types Your of sauces. World food today is gnocchi from Italy. Italy is in Europe. Gnocchi are great to eat at lunchtime or dinner time. There's an Italian dessert, Yummy. the tiramisu. She Blue likes it. it. 
We couldn't have done it without you, kitchen helper. Okay. Thank you. Let's Blue. Let's choose the next one. Pick a yummy one. We'll choose food Kenya. To make Mandazi. A Mandazi. Mandazi is a yummy treat from Kenya in Africa. Oh really? Where you can find Lake Nakuru where many wild animals gather. Oh really? Mandazi is also from Tanzania too. Let's just let's make the Mandazi. Mandazi is fried dough that is usually made in a triangular shape. Alrighty, let's make this. First, can you help us mix in flour, flour sugar, sugar spices, spices, and coconut and milk? coconut milk. Coconut milk. Now let's use stir a them. spoon to stir it all together. Uh, Okie dokie. Now let's tap here to make a space in the center let's... for an egg. Okay, there's egg. an egg. What a fantastic kitchen helper you are! Thank you! Magnifique! Now, now let's stir them together! To stir it all together! Okay, let's knead this dough again! Keep kneading the dough! Now let's use this rolling pin to flatten this dough yep, so it's perfectly, perfectly round. round and flat! Now, can you help slice the dough into triangles? Okay, you will. let's... Great. Cut the triangle. Trace the dotted line to slice the dough. Très bon. Keep slicing. It's like a pizza of slices. Let's put Next, them in the let's pan. Let's put them in the frying pan. Mmm, smells delicious. Yep, smells delicious. They and they're ready. golden brown. Mrs. Pepper and I will take them out of the frying pan. Okay. Now let's put some powdered let's sugar. Sprinkle a touch of powdered sugar over our mandazi. Drag the sugar over to wow. the mandazi. That must be a tasty treat in Africa. Ah, what a sweet looking treat. Here is you your delicious you? mandazi your from Kenya. Is mandazi from Kenya. Mm -hmm. In Kenya, any time of day is a good time for mandazi. They can be eaten for breakfast, a snack, or an after dinner dessert. Oh, really? Sometimes they eat it with chai, a fancy tea. Oh, chai. Like Blue has here. <laughs> oh, Blue she loves them. Oh, I we love fried dough. They're so you, delicious. I went to the fair Blue last year. Pick a okay, yummy world now let's do the next food, which is you. tamales from Mexico. Tamales? Tamales are a yummy dish from Mexico, mm -hmm. where you can find El Castillo. Do you know what El Castillo means in A Spanish? castle. The castle. Yep. I, I never tried tamales before, but who knows? A tamale is a dish made from corn dough wrapped in corn husk. All that corn sure makes it tasty. Oh, really? Let's cook the tamales. Can you help us add corn, corn flour, masa flour corn, and a little bit of baking soda into the mixing okay. bowl? Okay, corn, masa flour, and baking soda. Now, let's use stir this them. To stir it all together. Now, let's Thank add you, the chicken helper. broth. Now, let's add this chicken broth. Now, stir it all together to make the dough for the perfectly light and doughy. We'll add this in later. Okay. Now, time to saute some chicken, chicken onions, and, onions spices. and spices. Spices coming up. Mmm, smells the, delicious. The chicken, onions, and spices are Next, ready. Let's add some lovely carrots, carrots and, and peppers. Carrots and pepper. peppers coming up. Now, use let's spoon keep to stirring. Stir it all together. This must be we the are corn ready leaf. To everything to the corn husk. This is a First, corn husk. Drag the tamale dough we made before into the corn husk. Now let's so put some next, vegetables. Let's drag the beautifully sauteed chicken and vegetables into the corn husk. Well done. Now, now let's, let's fold wrap them. up the tamale. Thanks, kitchen helper. Great job. Now fold this way. That sounds like a good idea. Ah, let's cook ready. this tamale. Let's drag the tamale to the steamer to make it warm and delicious. Mm -hmm. I love Mexico. 
or Mexico, I whatever. Here you go, Blue. Your world Here's your today famous tamales. Is a tamale from Mexico. Yep. Oh. You can eat the tamale. Right? Mexico's, Mexico's has delicious house. food like quesadillas and enchiladas. Blue loves it. We couldn't have done it without you. Alrighty. Now we Thank only have you. three more Blue. foods to make. Pick a yummy like this world one food from Colombia and Blue Venezuela. And Arepas. Arepas are a yummy food from Colombia. Home of El Peñón de Guatape. Colombia is in South America. You can climb. Oh, really? Let's make some delicious arepas. An arepa is scars. a Arepas that can be An arepa is a type of street cheese. Let's make the arepas. Can you help us add cornmeal, spices, oil, and warm water into the mixing bowl? We have our ingredients. Now, use this spoon to stir And let's it stir together. them. Uh, look scrumptious. Mm-hmm, does look scrumptious. Will you help let's keep kneading the, the dough. Now, time to slice the arepa dough into even pieces. Okay. Trace the dotted line to slice the dough. Très bon. Keep slicing. Now, will you help shape the arepa dough into a circle? You will. Great. I already rolled the dough into a circle. Now, let's, let's put fry them in a frying in pan. Frying mmm, smells delicious. It's golden brown Ready already. Mr. Salt and I will use the spatula to turn it over. Yep. Now let's. Once the arepa let's cools trace down. We this. can add the cheese filling. Like this. I think it's cool enough now. First, we need to slice the arepa in half. Trace the dotted line like to this. slice the dough. Now it's well some cheese. Done. Now pour the cheese inside the arepa. Now let's put this in a frying ah, pan too. Now let's drag it back to the frying let's pan. Let's melt, the, melt cheese. the cheese. So it's gooey and delicious. It looks ready. Yep, it Mr. does Salt look ready. And I will take it out of the frying pan. Okay. And voila, Colombian arepas. You go, Blue. Your world food today is yummy arepas from Colombia. Mm -hmm. Arepas are not just found in Colombia, but all over the world because they are so delicious. Oh, really? Blue loves them. Oh, really? She loves them. You, kitchen helper. Okay, two more Blue foods love. to make. Pick a yummy world food for us to make. What for about Blue the Philippines? Halo, halo. The halo, halo. Halo, halo is a delightful dessert from the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Home of the beautiful Boracay Beach. I never tried halo, halo before. I think I want some. Halo Halo is a sweet treat made with beans, fruit, and ube ice cream. Ube ice cream sounds cool. This first step is really this must cool be the cream. and fun. This must Making be the cream, the vanilla, cream. and ube jam. Now use this spoon Let's stir to stir them together. It all together. Well done, kitchen helper. Now let's add now, the cream. Drag this whipped cream the to whipped the mixing cream. bowl. Now use this let's spatula stir them together. to mix in the whipped cream to lighten up the color. A perfect shade of purple. Yep, even Mr. light Salt purple. And I are going to put this ice cream mix in the freezer until it's ice cold. Yep. Now let's add Next, some great let's ingredients. Add sweet red and white beans and coconut gel. Now let's add some jelly. Next, let's add some jackfruit and, and jackfruit. pretty green gelatin and red gelatin to our halo halo. This must be the good treat uh, ever. Now let's drizzle a little evaporated milk on top evaporated of Evaporated milk is over here. And over now the for the final part, which is the and ube now the ice cream. ice cream we made earlier is ready. Let's drag and drop a beautiful scoop right on top of our halo halo. Mm-hmm. And voila! Oh, what a magnificent frozen treat! Here you go, Blue! 
Today's world food for you is Halo Halo from the Philippines. I love the Philippines. Halo Halo uses purple ice cream, which gets its purple color from ube, a purple yam. That's right. She likes it. Blue loves it. We couldn't have done it without you, kitchen helper. Thank you. You're welcome. Blue love this one. We have one more, which is the macarons from Fadi France. You. Macarons. I love France. A macaron is a sweet treat from France. Yep. Home of the Eiffel Tower. And yep. home of Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper. And yep, France is a <laughs> country, is the country they both come, come from. from. France is also in Europe. It's a type a of cookie. Macaron a macaron. Two cookies put together with a sweet filling. Oh really? Let's put the ingredients in a bowl. First, let's make the meringue. We should put syrup, egg whites. Now, now let's use stir a them. Spoon to stir it all together. Ah, looks sweet and delicious. Yep. Now let's With, add a beautiful okay. color for the bottom half okay. of our macaron. Which form of the color should I pick? Pink, blue, yellow, or mix. green? I think I should choose pink. Now you're cooking? Great job! When you've picked let's an icing color them with that a you like, stir it in. Now let's make this circles. This really fun! Let's yep. use this stencil tool to make this is perfectly a round tool cookies. For the macarons in the piping bag. And now we let's are cook ready them. to bake. Mrs. Pepper and I preheated the oven. Watch out! The oven can be very hot. Yep. So a grown-up should always do this part. Okay. Now let's oh, add the cream look filling. How lovely. Okay. Which let's color? Add some which form filling. of the colored mm. icing shall I pick? Which pink, color yellow, we purple, use? or teal? To fill the I think I should choose icing, purple. Drag the piping bag over each cookie. Now the final step. Drag the top part and of the cookie voila! Onto the Magnifique macaron. macarons! Like this. Here you go, Blue! Your world food for today is macarons, macarons. from France! Yep! Just macarons like you, Miss Pepper, France, Mrs. Pepper, and Mrs. Mrs. Salt Mr. Salt! And I are from. Yep! And there you have it! Blue loves them! We couldn't Blue's have done it without clothes and you, new world upper. cooking. Train well, magnifique. thanks for watching, Blue and I hope you guys see you so next much. time. I think she might.